poliovirus is a spherical unencapsulated RNA virus belonging to the genus Enterovirus. So again, if both mumps and measles come from polymixo, paramyxovirus, this poliovirus comes from a genus called Enterovirus. So the pathogenesis would include um, uh, viremia in 10% of the cases, a retrograde transport of virus along the neurons of uh, along the axons of the motor neurons and this is actually a neuronal kind of uh, viremia and then it will travel to your CNS and will replicate in the motor neurons of the spinal cord which we can which which can cause spinal poliomyelitis or the brain stem which can cause bulbar poliomyelitis so for the poly uh, for the poliovirus uh, it infects only humans because it uses the human CD155 to gain an entry into cells but does not bind uh, cells in other species so if you are asked what um, how does poly poliovirus infects humans it is through this um, CD1155 Transmission would be the fecal oral route. So, if the question includes uh, how is poliovirus transmitted, the, the, the choices can be A, um, through the break in the skin, or through the GIT, or fecal oral route, or urine, uh, urinary, urino, urine, urogenital transmission, or can it be through... Um, respiratory droplets so the answer will be letter B or fecal oral route which is through your GIT so most of them are asymptomatic 90% but in 10% of the cases they present with um, bulbar poliomyelitis or spinal poliomyelitis here in this picture you can see um, micro microglial nodule which is uh, composed of chronic inflammatory cells. These are microbial nodules. Uh, these are microbial nodules, rather. And these are the giant cells. And they're very characteristic of the um, poliovirus. So, grossly, the, there is flaccid paralysis with muscle wasting and hyporeflexia.